Ooh, here we go. Today, we got another mukbang, and you can tell by the title, we are having Japanese 7-Eleven today. Iconic, iconic Japanese 7-Eleven. They got some of the best and top quality food, I swear. It's it's impressive. So, let's reach on into the mystery bag. Jess, do you want to reach into the mystery bag for the first item? Oh, the melon pond. This stuff is better fresh because it's like crunchy hot off the street when you get it, but 7-Eleven has it packaged and it's a little bit softer, but it's just so good. Look at that. It's like a sugary, crusted bun. Mm. 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 It's just like sugar bread. Absolutely phenomenal. You guys know how it goes. We eat it, we review it, we rate it. We're gonna have to give this a rate of, honestly, 8.9 out of 10. I love melon pond. Melon pond, melon bread, whatever you wanna call it. All right, next item. Boom, oh, I picked out an iconic one. This is one of the main things that the 7-Eleven here is known for, their pancakes. We are starting off with some fire items, but it's literally so soft. It's just such good quality. Look at those pancakes. Mm. I mean, yeah, it's a basic pancake, but what you don't understand, is this is packaged at a convenience store. Like, America, this would probably be stale or something, but this just tastes fresh. Mm. Overall rate, 8.4 out of 10. Here we go, next item. Uh-oh, smoke squid. I saw this in there. Smoke squid, no idea what to expect here. It smells like seafood jerky, honestly. That's what it kind of tastes like. It kind of tastes like jerky. You want some? Overall rate, right, six out of 10. It tastes super, super salty. Ooh. Back into the mystery bag we go for the next item, which is a fruit sandwich. These are unreal. It's like a, almost like a whipped cream base inside a sandwich. And look at that. Oh. Their bread is just top quality. It's so soft, light, fluffy. I think it's like a whipped cream in there is the best way I could say it. Overall rate for these, nine out of 10. <laughs> I love these things, nine out of 10, holy crap. We like haven't really had, I guess the squid wasn't the best. We really haven't had a bad item yet. Mm. All right, on to the next item. You wanna pick, Jess? Okay, what are these? Oh, the sweet potato, potato chips. What do you call these, just sweet potato chips? Look at these, they actually look pretty fire. Looks like a burnt Lay's. Pretty good. Something I've noticed here is they don't use too much salt. In America, you use a lot of salt. That's pretty good, I'm gonna give that a seven out of 10. It has that sweet potato taste. A little sweeter, but salty, not bad. Here we go, not too many items left, but we're gonna reach in. Oh, this is the this is a tuna mayonnaise sushi triangle. I don't know what to call these guys, I'm sorry. With rice, tuna, and mayonnaise in the middle. It smells like tuna mayonnaise and seaweed. Here we go, cheers. That seaweed wrapping is actually really good. The rice is cooked to perfection. And the tuna and mayonnaise in the middle. Not a whole lot of it, but overall rate. I'm gonna give this a 7.5 out of 10. That surprised me. Wow. Here we go. What's next? Oh, where's my. Do you not give me the Japanese fried chicken? No. Where was it? I swear I thought I saw it in the bag. Oh, it's right here. What? How'd this get out of the bag? This is the one I wanted to get to next, even though it wasn't been random, but. Japanese fried chicken. I was so scared. I was so excited for this. Look at this. It's just a nice, tender piece of meat. It's juicy, kind of tastes like turkey. Wow. Overall rate, 8.2 out of 10. Here we go. There's only two items left, so I'm gonna pick out the next one. It is the chicken cutlet sandwich. Check that out. They put so much effort into these food items. And, okay, enough talking. Like, even the chicken being cold, it's amazing. So that's kind of like a coleslaw tuna salad almost on the, that goes along with it. Wow, that's good. That's a good combination. Overall rate, eight out of 10. 
All right, last item. This was Jess's pick, actually. But it's like a little, like, Japanese, like, churro box. I don't know. Sure. Like, little mini churros. We're gonna rip it open. Oh my gosh, look at that. It looks like it's almost supposed to be a cereal. I think it's supposed to be cereal. Yeah, this is like a cereal to-go cup. Look at that. There's nothing inside the churros, unfortunately. But... Yeah, it's like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but mini churros. Mmm. I mean, overall rate, I'll give it a 7.8 out of 10. With some milk, that could have been a lot higher. But wow, ready? That will end today's mukbang of the Japanese 7-Eleven. Overall, the item that came in with the best rating was the fruit sandwich with a 9 out of 10. Absolutely amazing Japanese 7-Eleven. Very, 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 very impressive. I could literally eat this every single day if we had these in America. But I guess gotta travel to Japan for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go down, like, subscribe. Go comment what videos you wanna see next. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for the support. Almost at three million. Come on, let's keep pushing. Let's keep getting more foodies. Join the f